Hi guys, welcome back. We've got the two goobs here, Aiden and Emily. So we're discussing the Matt Diaz video that came out where he was talking about, you know, losing 270 pounds over the course of six years, including uh, lap band surgery, and the shame he felt about his own body in, like, having anyone else see it. Like, you know, he mentioned, like, being in... Like, hey, if I went to the beach or something. Or... Yeah, he would never take a shirt off. In the video, he's basically showing all of the excess skin that he had from losing, was kind of, uh, from losing all of the, the, the weight. weight. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the first time he's ever shown anyone. He rarely took his shirt off. He was just very self-conscious about uh, his body after this huge transformation. Um, so... The topic of body positivity has been uh, coming up, and it's not something that you see that often. It's It should be coupled with uh, fat shaming and skinny shaming, body image, because everyone should be happy and positive about their body, because everyone is different and unique, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't be ashamed of that. Yeah. It's, um, it's, also, it's also interesting because in a society we live in, we're constantly being sold things. And, you know, it's it's hard to sell someone something if they already have it. So if they keep your if your attention is always like, oh, I don't have this particular um, shape or this particular material thing or physical thing, then it, you know, you can't like you can't buy it. You can't, you know, you can't sell uh, Eskimo ice, you know, exactly. <laughs> and um with the body positivity, it's just like, you know, the idea of being validated that your body is different and it's still attractive is something like that concept. It's not too often like fully in self actualized or internalized by many people. And it's something that I feel like we should pay more attention to in being comfortable with skins. And also if we, you know, like Matt, like if we decide to make changes to ourselves, um, we shouldn't be ashamed of, hey, you know, I want to change that. I really dislike X or Y about my body and I want to change it. You know, that's your own, that's your own decision that mm -hmm. you would make. And, you know, there's so much like judgments about, hey, you know, you're not conforming to what, you know, I see being lauded as what, everyone should look like you know you're not doing this you're not saying this you're not looking like this and it really puts a lot of pressure in people's minds about where they are where they should be and just not feeling like they match up you did a very brave thing and i think a lot of people admire and respect that and they could be thinking like oh my god if that i don't know if i could put a video out there into the world like that it took a lot of courage a lot of courage a lot of bravery yeah and um one Thing in particular he said he was like um, I don't know if by putting this up all of the nice comments that he's been getting about you know hey you also awesome weight that's so great uh, he said he didn't know if that would stop and that's that's really that's really that's really authentic that's really deep that's something you don't hear people make themselves be vulnerable to say he's also got a GoFundMe campaign and he's trying to make, raise money to get the surgery to remove the excess skin. And I believe it's been up for three days. And he's he's got 53,000. 50, yeah. So, Probably be like 60K by the time this video goes out. Yeah. Um, but it's wonderful because he's a strong advocate for other people who are in the same situations. Uh, even last year, there was a story about a woman who was selected to be on the cover of Shape magazine. And she had lost a considerable amount of weight, and she wanted to be uh, showcased wearing a bikini, but the magazine didn't feel that way and wanted her to wear a one piece to cover up because she had excess excess skin, skin wouldn't be good for a cover photo. And she asked why. They were like, "Hey, you know that's standard." And then she did some research and she found out that it wasn't that. There were other examples of people who had two pieces, two mm -hmm. piece um, swimwear. And it was like, it, it really caused a stir. And this video that I put up really kind of reminded us of that event. And I think there's probably a bit of progress being made where, 
like you know s- s- people are like paving the way for each other yeah to you know just work around the conditioning they might have had mm-hmm. negative conditioning they might have had about themselves and say hey you know this is my body and it's the one I've got and <laughs> and it's and it's something that our society definitely needs we need more positivity and more brave individuals to come forward and share their story so others just like that can be positive and come out and not be afraid of who they are and we're gonna leave it right there for this week <laughs> um just let us know your thoughts below in the comment section check out twogoobs.com for more places where you can follow us <laughs> bye bye